Since grief is such a really difficult experience in all of our lives, sometimes people will really say that it's so challenging to find words or it becomes so difficult to know how to express it to another person or even to ourselves. While there are so many different perspectives and ideas, people often really struggle with what do I do? How do I deal with so much heartache and pain and suffering that at times can be so unbearable to even hold? So one of the things that I have learned about is called photo narrative. So there are different ways that people use photography, but with photo narrative, we use photographs to tell the story. Sometimes people will go back and look over photos and albums and, and find such meaning in that. And that's so wonderful to remember. But when we're struggling with the depths of our sorrow, sometimes it's helpful to get a camera and just hold in our awareness what the loss is for us and start taking pictures. Not necessarily thinking about it so much as just snapping and capturing what we are feeling at that time and what we can take a photo of that will really represent our grief well. When I've used this with either clients or students or when I've studied this uh, in my research, people will all of a sudden see something different that they didn't see before. It will capture an aspect of their grief that gives them insight or it can really move them into a place of uh, deep emotion and it allows them to express things that there really aren't words for and so being able to reflect on these photographs or to share them with somebody else in many ways can transform that grief process and moves it away from something that we need to make sense of in a logical or intellectual way but allows for that emotional expression that that many of us really struggle to tap into and so photography can be one additional way in which to express and capture those moments of our sorrow and grief and pain, as well as transformation and healing.